Welcome guys to the Kingfisher Trace Clinic once again. Today I'm going to be doing shared traces. Um, very simply, I'm going to show you how to make our Kingfisher saltwater trace. What we require for it is our American fishing wire, size six, our hooks, our mustard, nine, seven, nine, five, six, eight. That's our mustard, seven, nine, five, six, eight, four, O oh, needle point hooks. Our number six Kingfisher barrel swivel, obviously our high density foam um, corks and our 16 kilo Kingfisher nylon, very simply. What it looks like, and I'm just gonna open this one up for us. And in our saltwater sports traces, there's two. So I'm just gonna unravel one of them and show you what we're gonna be building today. So pretty much, this is what we have. We've got our swivel to a piece of nylon. We've got our shared trace, and I'm just gonna open it up. So there's our shared trace with our wire over there, single hook. All we do is just slide our high density foam over it like that. And we attach our sinker whether it be a pear sinker or a cone sinker, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, the advantage is if you're using a pear sinker, when you actually hit your shed, the sinker moves quite easily and you get a better hook set. If you're using the cone sinker, which we use in rougher conditions, um, also if you pull, you'll get a better hook set on it. So cone sinkers and um, our pair sinkers are what you want to use 90% of the time for our shared fishing. So this is basically our trace, our Kingfisher saltwater sports trace. It's as simple as that. I'm going to show you now how to make it. Okay, to start off with, what I'm going to do is take my mustard needle point 4 like so. Our number six wire. American fishing wire, and I just want to open it up here quickly. I'm going to cut myself a 20 to 30 centimeter piece off. I'm going to start off with making a haywire twist using our round nose pliers. What we do is we insert the tag end over there like that. And we keep that at 45 degrees on each side. So we go one, two, three, four, five times. And then what we do is we take the tag in and we wrap the tag in around six times. So I'm just gonna use my fingers just quicker for me. One, two, three, four, five, six times. To break that off, all we do is we bend the wire back 90 degrees and we work anti-clockwise. Okay, there we go. And just make sure everything sits nice and straight. We do that. Okay, so there is our first haywire twist done. If I'm working fast, please forgive me. If you look on the back of our American fishing wire, you will see the whole schematics on how to actually do it. We make that about 10 centimeters, 12 centimeters in length, and we do our next haywire twist. Very simple, there's the bend. I'm gonna grab one of our number six swivels, Kingfisher swivel. I'll put that back, that goes there. Okay, so to do it, all I'm gonna do now is take this, insert it through the swivel, there it is there guys. I'm then just gonna pinch it with a pair of pliers to hold it in place and I'm gonna twist it around five times. One, 
five times. And on the fifth one, I bring the wire 90 degrees to my main wire. So there we go, 90 degrees to the main wire, and I'm just going to wrap it around six times. One, two, three, four, five, six times. I then take the tag in, which is this part here, and I'm going to bend it 90 degrees, like so. And I'm going to work anti-clockwise. If I go anti-clockwise around, it'll break off perfectly. As you can see, there's no little uh, pieces of metal sticking out. So there we go. There is our trace as far as the wire goes. Okay, now we take our Kingfisher nylon. Take it loose here quickly. Tie the nylon to the swivel. And how we do it, again, is with a figure of eight. So all I'm doing is wrapping around the finger. Once, twice, three times. Pulling it through, the tagging through. And there we go like that. There we go, there's a figure of eight forming. Gonna lubricate, slide it down, pull tight. Cut off the tag end. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You can make it the length that you want it to be. Okay guys, what we now do is we take our nylon, insert it through our foam. And it is a bit trickier than I thought. There we go. Now to keep the foam in place, we just pull it over the actual uh, swivel and it's not gonna move now. We then take our Kingfisher barrel swivel and we make our figure of eight. One, two, three times. Take the tag in, pull it tight. There's a figure of eight. Lubricate, slide down. Cut off the tag end. We now take about 40 centimeters of nylon and we attach it for our sinker. So again, all we're gonna do is figure of eight. One, two, three. Take it back through. There's a figure of eight. Lubricate, slide down. Now we make our sinker trace ever so long, just so that it is just a little bit longer than the actual hook itself. Okay. I'll grab a sinker quickly and show you. I'm going to use a cone sinker. Cone sinker works best when there's a bit of current and a bit of uh, wave movement. Our teardrop sinkers work best when it's flat and calm. And also fishing in the rocks. Okay, there we go. Pull tight. Okay. So that's how we make and obviously your main line's gonna attach, or your leader line's gonna attach to the top of that. And that's how we make our Kingfisher saltwater traces, guys.